Hey, I'm Andrew Gash for Audioholics. Now, at just under $1,000, this unit right here, the Harbin Carden AVR3600, well, it's not a cheap device. So you might be wondering, well, what exactly do I get for all that extra money? Well, for one thing, you get power. Now, a lot of people who look at receivers and take a look at the specs, well, the first thing they're going to notice is the power of the receiver. Now, this thing outputs only 80 watts per channel. That's seven channels, by the way. However, Harman Kardon is a bit odd in how they actually rate the power output. So if you want an apples to apples comparison, we actually find that this unit does about 105 or more watts per channel. Now that's just an opinion. Now something else really impressive about this receiver is the up conversion. It will up convert anything you put into it to HDMI and then bring it out in full 1080. Now, I'm not just talking about analog to digital conversion. I'm talking about full up conversion of even the older sources like DVD or even a VHS player to full high definition 1080p via HDMI. And that's just the digital up conversion. This unit also has analog up conversion. So the same sources you're plugging in can come out of this unit at 1080i if you use a component feed. So HDMI or component, you're still getting that up conversion. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that this unit is packing quite a powerful punch because usually you're only going to find digital or analog up conversion. And if you get both, you're going to be paying a lot more than what this unit actually costs. Now, I like to play a lot of games, and that brings up another neat feature about this receiver. For instance, if I'm playing an Xbox 360 and using HDMI, one thing I notice, especially with the rhythm-intensive games uh, like uh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero, is the lag associated with HDMI. It's just there. There is processing involved when you're using that sort of connection. But the nice thing about this receiver is that it actually has a mode that will eliminate the processing, so you eliminate the lag. Now, this would often be referred to as a game mode, although Harman Kardon just calls it HDMI bypass. Either way, it's a great feature. All of the processing in this unit is done by a Ferruja DCDI chip. Now, this is a proven technology, and while it is a little bit dated, it still does a bang up job. Another thing we like about this is the uh, full color on screen display, high def by the way, that allows you to do all the configuring right on your television and it even has a transparency to it so you can see the source underneath while you're doing the configurations. Now this is really neat and it's something you're not going to find on an entry level or even a mid-level receiver. Now if you take a look at the back of it, you're going to notice it has four HDMI inputs. It also has the ability to decode pretty much all the HD audio formats these days. There are two component inputs, plenty of composite inputs, and like many receivers these days, that dreaded S-Video connection, well, that has been eliminated. Good riddance. The uh, receiver also includes the proprietary setup and EQ technology, which uses a microphone, included, to automatically configure your system to work optimally with your speakers and also inside your media space. Now, another really neat feature about this receiver is that it includes the option for a second zone of speakers. So, you can have a 5.1 surround system in one room and then have two other speakers running in a totally different room with totally different audio. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this is there's one drawback, and that is that the zone two speakers use the same output as the surround back speaker. So, if you want 7.1 surround sound, you won't be able to use zone two. But if you'll uh, down convert to 5.1, then you get that option. Something else to keep in mind, Harman Kardon did not include any conversion for Zone 2, so you can't plug any digital inputs into it. What that means for you is, for instance, let's say you've got a CD player running to Zone 1 uh, digitally. Well, you're uh, going to have to plug in an analog connection as well if you want to use it in Zone 2, but that's pretty much the only drawback to this really cool feature. Another neat thing about Zone 2 is it has its own remote for controlling it. And this is separate from the eight device remote that comes with the receiver. Yes, that's right, eight devices it can control. So you have at least a fighting chance of programming all your sources and not having to uh, have that many remotes lying around. Now I could go on about this unit all day because it is jam packed with some awesome features. Suffice it to say, it's one of our highly recommended units. And if you get a chance to take a listen to it, then do it. Listen, it is awesome. Another great thing is that coming up in September of 2010, Harman Kardon will be offering a free update via USB to bring the unit to full HDMI 1.4a compatibility, and that will include 3D support. Once again, this is the Harman Kardon AVR3600 receiver.